All right, y'all. Sorry I could not worry too much about a super impressive background backdrop today um, because I just feel like the white rabbit lately. Like, I'm always late, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, and uh, I don't even have a job. I don't know what's going on. I just can't seem to hold on to time. So, um, lots of things winding around my mind. It's been a very weird day. I'm glad I got to talk to my therapist today. Yay for therapy! Woo! Um, I wore the creature from the Black Lagoon today because honestly I'm just feeling like he's my spirit animal right now. Like that's just, that's feeling like my spirit animal. I'm um, sorry the lighting's kind of weird. I'm trying to just be clear, be here, um, and steer this thing towards something. And we keep just going slightly crooked off that way and no matter how many times I fix it, it just wants to go that way. So it's just going to go that way, and we're going to just say what we have to say. Uh, so please, those who love me, don't worry about me too much. I'm finding ways to be in touch with all these weird parts of myself and um, stabilize my mental health, and it's not an easy task, but uh, I just ask that you try to hear my words and know that... Um, it's okay to be unsure and I could have written these things in like a pop song version of the feelings but instead I just wrote the feelings as they are as they appear in my psyche and heart and feelings so I'm just gonna give it to you because I don't have a lot of time and so here's what's on my mind um, Today I just felt so tired in this way that I cannot even put words to, like, and I've been feeling this way a lot lately, just under this spell, like, cannot move, just tired, just out, just hypnotized, and, um, capsized in a sea of sleepy, and, like, that kind of nightmare feeling where you're trying to wake yourself up and you can't, so, yeah. Here we go. Here's my chant slash poem. It's not a chant. I was just trying to be rhymey. Here's my poem. Here's what's inside me. <laughs> it's called Derealization. My therapist gives me terminology I can't find within me. I'm sleepy, but that's not quite it. It's more than that. I'm hit by a wave of sedation. He calls it Derealization. I'm so far from steady concentration, I can't read an eye chart up close. I'm not making the most of anything. I'm faltering, and it's obvious. Once again, I find myself insomnious. What's beyond this feeling? I can't be sure. What's the remedy, my therapist asked me? What's the cure? I don't know what this disconnected feeling is for. At my core, I guess I know it's teaching me something. But for now, my mind is just static and frustrated grunting. I guess I know one thing, and that's the fact that I want to run from this. I try to make a list of what feels real, and it's a short one. No sugar, no sugar plums left dancing. No sugar, blah, blah. no sugar plums left dancing. Just the rapidly enhancing sensation that I'm powerless to the hypnotization of this heavy spell. The sound of jet planes has been going overhead all day long, and I can't tell if it's actually jets or thunder, or I guess even if it's real or not. Isn't that strange? I rearrange my body in an upright position, and still my vision feels blurry and uncertain. There's this thick, heavy curtain over every element of the waking world. My fingers are curled up in tight fists, and I can't fight that tightness or unleash them under the blankets. It's like someone took all the sound and sank it underwater. This is great fodder for a therapeutic analysis. I twist under my covers and feel that I can't wake up or utter human words. People's sentences and safe, easy sentiments blur together in the strangest fashion. My passion feels dingy like a sponge used too long. My actions all feel wrong and the grogginess makes my attention span and best laid plans a total mess. I feel less than. I feel so stressed. Even getting dressed is such a perplexing act. People treat these confines and binds on their time like inescapable fact. The impact of this constant drone will not leave my thoughts alone. I groan after reading another job posting. All the people I want to work for are ghosting me. And the other ladder rungs of professionality seem out of reach. 
Someone teach me some maneuvering skills. Five seconds spent on the internet fills me with a sense of floating confusion. Our whole setup really seems like an illusion to me. I'm not trying to be cute here. I'm not trying to be funny. People talk about the weather and money. This land of milk and honey seems muddied somehow. I avow that I'm not quite feeling myself. This hunt for attaining wealth, this grab at whatever's on the shelf before someone else does attitude. This whole society glued to their Netflix accounts amounts to a very disassociative feeling indeed. It's as though we've been programmed to concede before the fight has begun. The big towering corporations counting our money have already won. I just want to feel the sun when it shines on me. I just want to feel awake completely. I just don't want the shadow figures in the dream to eat me. I find small comforts like how sweetly my dog cuddles into me. Like how deeply my partner loves me. I'm the one who shoves me around. Don't know why I don't just reach out to help myself up off the ground. I'm bound to get the hang of this, I guess. These constant checklists. These perpetual tests. I confess, it's likely my fears preventing me from being able to ever truly rest or find soothing in the nest of my bed. My head is a factory of possibility and often the cranking gears lead me to just lead me to see just exactly how unsure I really am. I crammed for the test and when I got there it all just looked like scribbles and code. Sweat flowed from my pores and the school lights looked like high beams before I realized it was just another scary dream. So that's the poem and then this last part is quotes from my best friend I wrote down that seemed relevant just talking to her about life. She said, I'm starting to disconnect from my memories of childhood. They're like being replaced by more awful memories of adulthood. I just wonder where, like, the feeling of Saturday went, you know? It's like suddenly I have zero reaction not having to work the next day. That's scary. Where's that Friday flirty free feeling? But you know, I'm not dead yet. So probably something else will happen and hopefully it'll be a little cooler than this. Whatever this is. I mean... Even if you were totally living your dream, you'd either accept or ignore the fact that it's temporary. Like, think of all those starlets who were the thing, the hot commodity, and then they dared to age, so they faded into obscurity, day drinking in their gardens. Just enjoy it until you can't anymore, I guess. Probably go try to do something bigger than my average life. It's all a fight for means, and that feels ugly. But golly, if you have the means, you can remain in a bubble anywhere. <laughs> if you have the means, you can remain in a bubble anywhere. She's so smart. Oh man, all that stuff she said about starlets hit me so hard. Think of all those starlets who were the thing. And they just dared to age and they're faded into obscurity, day drinking in their gardens. Crazy. But it won't harden my heart, okay? Don't worry. I've never let it harden me and I won't start. Sorry, this 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 90s glow-in-the-dark clamp was really pulling at my hair. So, hey! Um, <sighs> dare to bear your feelings. Dare to bear the fact that you care. Um, it's been a very gloomy day as well. It's funny because right when I came out here to do my poem, the sun came out for the first time, but it has been like a gray day, I must say. So, I'm gonna go rehearse for a play and feelings come gizmo my dog's eating apples he's developed an affinity for fallen apples it's kind of crazy i think he's getting a little drunk on them <laughs> ah um anyway the wind chimes really sound beautiful and there is beauty it's there it's there it's there i just am trying to be aware of the dark parts and they keep kind of knocking at the door of my heart trying to get in but hey it's just feelings. Sometimes I'm swimming in them. Sometimes I'm floating. Sometimes I'm lost at sea without a boat in them. Um, but I'm going to keep putting them into poetry and see what happens. So that's what's up today. Creature from the Black Lagoon, y'all represent. So, yep, just, just a little vent sesh. It's okay. I'll find fresh feelings tomorrow, I'm sure. Love y'all. I'll be back with more.